day I was gonna quit. Cause I had had enough, man. I was living in this car for three years, man. I ain't got no money. And uh, I was gonna call my mom and dad and ask them, could I come home and just stay in the attic for about four months till I find a job. My father told me, you can't come back home. Once you leave my daddy's house, you got to figure it out. So I knew it was going to be hard, but they had put an answer machine in the attic for me. And so I was bathing in a hotel in Pensacola, Florida. And the way I used to bathe was, I used to go to hotels that had those bathroom doors that went floor to ceiling. I would go to real fancy, like Rich Carlton's and stuff like that, because they had linen tiles wrapped up in a basket. And I would take a bunch of them in there, run hot water on them, and I'd take them in the stall and shut the door, and I'd take my bag and I'd soap up. Then I would wait till the coast was clear, and I'd run out and get a bunch of more rags and soak them up and come out and wipe it off. Then I'd stand there and dry, put my clothes back on, that's how I bathed every other day, man. And so I was in there one time, and they had a uh, convention in town. And when I got all the stuff, I soaked up. This convention let out. And men was just coming in the bathroom and I couldn't go out. So I couldn't get the soap off. So I let the toilet seat down and I'm sitting there, man. I just started crying. I said, man, I can't take this no more. I'm finna quit. I'm gonna go call my daddy, just ask him, can I come home, man? I can't do this no more. So before I called him, I called the answer machine and I got a message. And it says, Steve Harvey, this is Chuck Sutton from Showtime at the Apollo. We saw a tape of you. If you would come to New York Sunday night, this was a Thursday, come to Sunday, Sunday night, we're gonna put you on TV, Showtime at the Apollo. Put me on TV, that was my dream. But I had a problem. I had $25 and I, I couldn't get to New York. How was I gonna get to New York with $25? So, I said, man, I went back in my car and I'm crying again. I said, man, God, I finally get a shot to get on TV and then I can't even go. I said, how could you do this to me? You know, I'm 30 something now, man. I've been waiting my whole life and, I'm, and you get me here? So I said, man, let me call this machine back and just see if he said this Sunday. And I called it back and it said, Steve, this is Chuck Sutton from Show Simon DePaul. We saw a tape. We have an opening for you Sunday. If you could get here, give me a call, let me know. We'd love to put you on TV. I said, So I got ready to hang up, and I heard, boop, you have another message. And I punched in the code, and the message said, Steve Harvey, this is Tom Sobel from the Comedy Caravan. I don't know where you are now, but I have a gig available for you in Jacksonville, Florida, to pay you $150 Friday night. If you can make the gig, let me know. I'm in Pensacola. So I called Tom Sobel, he sends me to this gig to make $150. I go the next night, I make $150, but I was so funny, the club owner said, if you stay the next night, I'll pay you another $150. I got $300. I called Tom, Chuck Sutton back at the Apollo and said, hey man, I just got this message. If you still got room for me in New York, I'll do it. He said, yeah, come on. So I went to Eastern Airline, bought a round trip ticket for $99 from Jacksonville, Florida to New York, performed on Showtime at the Apollo, wrote the joke that made me famous. Mike Tyson hit this fight of Mitch Green in the eye and his eye started talking. And I wrote that on the way to New York. Got a standing ovation on the Apollo. I have been on television ever since that night right there. That was